In a stunning revelation that has sent shockwaves through the entertainment industry, Dwayne Keffy D. Davis has come forward with explosive claims linking Sean Diddy Combs to the tragic demise of iconic rapper Tupac Shakur. These allegations center around an alleged unpaid $1 million bounty, reigniting the long-standing debate surrounding Tupac's untimely death and the mysterious individuals involved. Recently, Keefe D, who has been boasting about his involvement in Tupac's murder for years, was finally apprehended. However, this may just be the tip of the iceberg, as Keefe has previously confessed that Diddy orchestrated the entire plot and paid him a substantial sum to eliminate both Tupac and Suga Knight. Disturbingly, recent reports indicate that Keefe might be considering cooperating with authorities and providing information on Diddy. It appears that Diddy, who once appeared to have connections within law enforcement, is now in a state of panic. The unfolding situation hints at a bigger story connected to Diddy that is set to unravel soon. Could Diddy truly face consequences alongside Keffy D for Tupac's murder? Let's delve into the details. A significant development has emerged in the unsolved mystery surrounding the tragic incident that claimed the life of the legendary Tupac Shakur back in 1996. Authorities have arrested and formally charged Dwayne Keefe D. Davis, a man they allege played a pivotal role in orchestrating the crime. Keefe D, who has long been on investigators' radar as one of the initial suspects, has been identified as the mastermind behind the group, according to law enforcement. The unexpected arrest of 60-year-old Keefe occurred on a calm evening as he leisurely strolled near his cozy residence, nestled on the outskirts of bustling Las Vegas, Nevada. The serene atmosphere was suddenly disrupted when law enforcement agents swiftly approached Keefe, warrant in hand. It was only hours prior to this apprehension that the prosecution had announced the grave charges brought against him. A single indictment for murder with a deadly weapon, sought against Keefe by a Nevada grand jury. The upcoming court appearance, slated for next week, leaves the community brimming with anticipation and curiosity. Amidst the legal proceedings, the grand jury added a sentencing enhancement, drawing attention to Keefe's alleged affiliation with a notorious gang. If proven guilty, this enhancement holds the potential to impose an additional 20-year prison term, further intensifying the gravity of the situation. As Keefe prepares to face the consequences of his actions and the judicial system unfolds, his fate hangs in the balance, mired with uncertainty. During the search conducted at Keefe's residence, law enforcement seized various electronic devices, including hard drives, tablets, and laptops. They also discovered documents related to TV programs, documentaries, YouTube episodes, book manuscripts, and movies all centered around Tupac's tragic passing. Among the items confiscated were a copy of Vibe magazine featuring Tupac and a book titled Compton Street Legend, which Keefe had co-authored. Police became interested in Keefe following his appearance in the popular Netflix documentary series Unsolved and the subsequent release of his book Compton Street Legend a year later. In both mediums, Keefe hinted at his presence inside the car with the individual responsible for Tupac's murder. Initially, during the initial investigations, Keefe denied any involvement and was cleared of all charges. However, in the documentary and the book, he dropped insinuations about the events surrounding the murder. Moreover, in a July 2019 interview on Vlad TV, Keefe admitted to playing a role in Tupac's passing and confirmed that he was the passenger in the white Cadillac on the night of the incident. While he refused to disclose the identities of the other individuals in the car, he did reveal that the shooter was his nephew, Orlando Anderson. Keefe also claimed that the shooting was in retaliation for an earlier altercation at the MGM Grand, where Tupac and his entourage had confronted Orlando. The unfolding events surrounding this case continue to captivate and raise essential questions. As more details emerge, the truth behind Tupac's tragic death may finally come to light. Former LAPD detective Greg Kading, involved in the cases of Tupac and Biggie Smalls, previously disclosed that investigators had evidence of Diddy paying Keefe $1 million to harm Tupac and Shuj. In fact, there exists a recording wherein Keefe confessed this to investigators years ago. The puzzling aspect remains why it took 27 long years for authorities to finally apprehend Keefe. Despite his confession and the public discussions about his involvement on various podcasts, the actions taken by law enforcement seemed inexplicably slow. Speculation and internet theories abound, with fans conjecturing that the authorities may have intentionally delayed the arrest to ensure Keefe's cooperation in revealing the alleged mastermind behind the crime, Sean Diddy Combs. 
For years, the prevailing theory centered around Tupac's tragic demise being a result of retaliation for his crew's assault on Orlando Anderson, a member of the Southside Crip Gang, following the infamous Mike Tyson fight in Las Vegas. The stories that linked Diddy and Biggie to the murder were often dismissed as mere conspiracy theories by many. Interestingly, there were some who believed that Diddy's claim of a $1 million bounty on Tupac's head was simply provocative talk, only for Keefe to exploit it later and implicate Diddy. Both Orlando and Keefe had associations with Diddy and Biggie, and they were known to provide security for them. Diddy enlisted Keefe D for protection due to his perceived status as one of the few Compton shot callers whom Shuj Knight, the Death Row Records co-founder, would not dare to confront. The altercation between Tupac and Orlando stemmed from Orlando allegedly stealing a Death Row medallion from Trayvon Lane, an alleged gang member affiliated with Death Row. The motive behind the theft supposedly originated from Diddy's desire to taunt Shuj by showcasing a Death Row chain in his next music video, adding fuel to the complex dynamics surrounding these tragic events. Tupac's murder could potentially be interpreted as an act of random violence gone awry. Nonetheless, it may not be as intricate as some theorize, given that gang members are known to target others for far less. However, many staunch believers argue that nothing about this case was haphazard. They maintain that Diddy's offer of $1 million to Keefe to eliminate Tupac and Suga was by no means a casual remark. During Keefe D's interviews, he consistently downplayed Diddy's seriousness, suggesting they did not take it to heart. Nevertheless, now that Keefe faces charges following his arrest, speculations suggest that authorities may have finally discovered a paper trail linking Diddy's million-dollar proposition to Tupac's case. Keefe previously claimed he never received the $1 million as he was unable to communicate with Diddy after Tupac's murder. Thus, the narrative about Diddy's bounty on Tupac's life was based on hearsay, lacking actual proof. Interestingly, there is purportedly evidence indicating that Diddy had given the money to an intermediary named Eric Von Zip, with Keefe asserting that Von Zip used the bounty money to open a nightclub rather than passing it to the Southside Crips. Until now, these accounts remained mere stories, with the police unable to find concrete proof linking Diddy's offer of $1 million directly to Tupac's demise. However, Keefe's recent arrest raises eyebrows and prompts speculation about hidden revelations that could ultimately lead to Diddy's downfall. Have you noticed the strange vibes surrounding Diddy lately? Social media has been abuzz with discussions regarding a tweet that surfaced about a month ago, hinting at something significant concerning Diddy. The tweet mentioned that he was taking steps to grant his former artists from Bad Boy their long-awaited publishing rights. However, in return, these artists had to sign non-disclosure agreements, NDAs, for their masters. It's interesting to note that Diddy has never directly addressed Keefe's allegations. When questioned about it on The Breakfast Club, his response was carefully crafted to avoid engaging with what he called nonsense. The way he abruptly cut off Charlemagne before he could even finish the question, nervously rubbing his head incessantly, certainly raised eyebrows. As we eagerly await the unfolding of Keefe D's trial, rest assured that I will keep you informed of all the intricate details. In the meantime, the internet is rife with speculations about Diddy's alleged connection to Tupac's case. Feel free to delve into these intriguing speculations while we await further developments. Stay tuned! One person said, If they charge Diddy and Tupac's murder, that would be the greatest day on this app. My phone actually might catch fire. But another fan wrote, Not y'all waiting on the downfall of Diddy. LMFAO, I just don't see this happening. They would be trying to convict strictly off hearsay at this point. But what are your thoughts on this? Do you think Diddy had anything to do with Tupac's death? Do you think he should be charged if evidence is found linking him to the crime? Let me know in the comments section below. And if you ever need to satisfy your gossip cravings or simply want to know what to anticipate from your favorite stars and movie series, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And remember, I love you guys so much, and as always, I'll see you all in the next video.